Hey everybody and welcome to Accounting for Cycling. My name is Mike and today I'll be exploring what's inside of this wonderful USPS baggie. As we remove the envelope, it's just a plain box. Uh, so inside of this plain brown box though is a, a shipment I actually ordered from Autolock an embarrassingly long time ago. Um, it is the kind of a whole get started kit. And so I did purchase these. This is not sponsored by Auto Lock. Uh, I will have links down in my description below uh, that are my affiliate links and I uh, do earn a small commission off of those. Uh, but so first we've got the Auto Lock hex band. Um, I've been using the original cinch lock uh, for quite a few years now. And it's always been a good solid go-to for any sort of quick stops. Uh, it's still pretty much anything that you can see your bike in. Um, I, this is obviously not something that I would recommend locking your bike up for a week and leaving it unattended. Your bike will likely be gone, as will your lock. Uh, we have the Auto Lock Pro mount, uh, which actually goes onto the frame for your cinch lock and cinch lock hex band, and the Auto Lock Sidekick. So with a kind of combination of all these, or with these two, uh, and you should have a pretty good setup uh, for a really pretty lightweight and sturdy road ride setup. So if you're cruising around with, uh, with your friends on the group ride, or you, know, you just decide you're gonna stop the local beer garden, and stop and take a leak, it happens to all of us. Uh, sometimes you just kind of quickly gotta lock your, lock your bike up. That's where the hex band and the cinch lock have been absolutely crucial for me. Let's do a little snip here, a little snip here. Hopefully that's not enough to actually snip the whole thing. This is the 30 inch or 76 centimeter version. There's also a 60 inch that's 152 centimeters and an 18 inch or 46 centimeters. The 18 inch would be something good for you know, if you're you know, locking your front wheel to your bike frame um, or anything that's really kind of small and compact. And the nice thing with these two is you've got the you've got this little rubber gasket on here. Um, yeah, it's just a three-digit combo lock that you can set yourself. Um, I think it's yeah. Here we are. Press and hold to insert and remove, and also to reset the combo. Uh, good thing I have a push pin, but I will be doing that off camera. And for kind of repacking, putting away, I like to get mine kind of really compact and small. Um, I usually keep mine in a saddlebag or a back jersey pocket. These things just, they fit right in there. You don't even notice it. And then this here, I've actually not used this yet, so I'm pretty excited. Um, clearly not excited enough to going on almost a year since I ordered this and uh, kind of got lost in a pile of stuff. So the uh, unpacking experience, real easy. <laughs> Just slide this right off of here. And claim weight of 750 grams or 1.65 pounds. So look, this is, you're not even gonna notice this in your back pocket. It's kind of the whole point of these. Uh, they may not be the most secure ever, uh, but convenience and a nice visible deterrent, which, I like this blue color, is better than absolutely nothing or even just some cheaper ones. So just like most U-locks, put the key in the bottom, turn, and it engages and disengages. These little mechanisms in here. Um, and those slide into these little keyholes. So there you are. And you can cinch your hex band cinch lock right through there. Um, or for <laughs> ease of carry. <laughs> there we go. And the final little piece we have is the pro mount. And you can see right on the picture here, uh, it just kind of straps around your seat post and holds your cinch lock. Um, fun fact, you can also just use this little rubbery deal. Uh, but it's not quite as elegant looking. 
So all softer rubber and uh, plastic on one end. Uh, so it'll kind of go right around your seat post, strap right in. Just in time to get ready for those outdoor bike rides. Things get a little more crowded. You really want to set yourself apart from that person that just leans their bike up against a chair. Uh, security is always good. I might regret doing this, but let's take the expand and see what we can do. Now it just looks bad. Um, yeah, made some cuts into it, but it looks like the steel kind of stopped it. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep trying to cut away on it, but you can see right inside there, it broke the rubber, um, not even all the way either, but that's still gonna be enough to get somebody that is quickly going to be looking to take your bike and uh, keep them from doing that. Thanks for watching. You can check down below in the description. Using those affiliate links, um, any commissions earned just go right back to things for the channel. Um, you know, with I'm not affiliated with Auto Lock, uh, but I will have my backcountry competitive cyclist and Amazon affiliate links down below. Uh, the small commission I do earn just helps to go towards purchasing things like this and uh, doing stupid things like this that were not scripted. Um, Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, this has been the Auto Lock Cinch Lock Hex Band and the Auto Lock Sidekick along with the Pro Mount. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day.